In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four banner option slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created four banners and then you can add your headlines here. And then what happens when I click one ribbon comes with the title and then you can add the detailed text here. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here the first red uh, ribbon comes uh, with the title and you can add some detailed text here. When I click with a different color, a different a ribbon will come then the green and then the purple ribbon will come so depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice and i've made few more slides where i have used some already some different uh, patterns here you can see it's already available in powerpoint and i have made one more which is only one with a bigger one so depending on your requirement whichever slide you need you can just choose the options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it to the channel and you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes set rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle any size and later on we can increase or decrease and then you can see here the small orange point just drag it so it becomes less curved and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice let me just choose this color then i'm going to add kind of a ribbon in the center for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw one rectangle maybe this much size all right and again this also make sure align center align middle or if you want you can just make it somewhat up also depending on your requirement you can change it then shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to select a gradient fill so by default here i got this one because i did the last the same thing so what i'm going to do now i'm going to just change this one so first of all direction i'm going to change it something like this all right and then here i'm going to make it some dark colors so just choose any dark color maybe i'm going to choose a dark green kind of a thing and here also i'm going to choose a dark green and here i'm going to choose a light green color so any color of your choice you can just choose it all right so it looks something like this you can see here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add two uh, kind of a steel uh, plates to hold this one again i'm going to select the rectangle draw the small rectangle you can see here something like this and place it here shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select the gradient fill and gradient fill i'm going to change the direction to this one you can see here the linear down and then here i'm going to give some dark gray color here also i'm going to give some dark gray color and in the center i'm going to give some light color so it looks a uh, kind of a metallic finish so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and add it to the other side all right and uh, now you can give some text and some shadow effect also let me just give some shadow effect go to insert shapes i'm going to select i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape fill make it black and make it more gradient sorry make, make it more transparent and then go to the uh, effects and soft edges increase the size all right and then you can select it here and send this to back so we have added the shadow effect the same shadow effect i can just add it here also and reduce the size all right and then i'm just going to send this to back all right so you can see here the shadow effect has been created now how much you need you can just put it that one so the design is over now it's time to add some text so depending on the requirement you can add the text or you can reduce the size for example i want to reduce the size what i'm going to do is press ctrl a to select all press ctrl g to group it and then hold the shift key i'm just going to reduce the size so i have put it one here press ctrl d one more here if you want two more select both and then just bring it down so you can see here i have added four now if you want to change the color of this one and then i can just choose any color of my choice maybe i can just go to the dark uh, you can see here the purple color here also dark purple and in the center i'm going to choose some light purple color 
all right so it looks something like this and then for this again maybe i want to choose maybe a blue color combination a dark blue and both the ends i'm going to choose a dark blue and in the center i'm going to choose the the light blue color whichever color so you can see here like this you can change the colors and now it's time to add the text go to insert text box here you can add your title here your i'll just say title here and center align font color i'm going to choose it white and then i'm going to choose a hand of sean or any other uh, color or the font size you can just choose so you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here and likewise you can just add different different color uh, text here now let's add the headline here go to insert text box i'm going to say your or just headline headline you can see here again let me just select this center align and i'm going to align it properly and then whichever color you feel i'm going to choose the font wordana or any other font of your choice you can add it and go to insert text box here you can add equals lower and within bracket one i'm just going to add some detailed text you can see here if white is not visible clearly then you can make it a black also and then i'm just going to put it here all right now i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and then bring it here ctrl d to duplicate bring it here and again i'm going to bring it here so you can see here our design is over now it's time to add some animations so before adding the animation let me just ungroup this right mouse click group and just select ungroup all right now these two things i'm going to group it the text if you want to group it or you can just make separate uh, animations also let me just group this both the things press ctrl g to group it you can see here ctrl g all right so even this also looks good so now what happens is now i'm just going to select this and go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to choose the effect wipe you can see here wipe i'm going to make it from left so it comes something like this and then the shadow effect i'm going to make it fade and fade should happen maybe after previous all right so if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right so the same thing you can just do the animation for the rest of the options or you can just select this one click it here and then again i'm going to select the animation painter click on this that's it so like the simple way you can just add a different animation settings